Hmm. I think we'll start. Yeah. Well, if you haven't um, taken the time to uh, look at each other and see the support we all have with each other, you might take a little time to do that now just to make eye contact even though you can't you can't really see who's seeing you <laughs> but it's not bad it's better than a, well nothing was that's what I it's really good yeah just say hi to everybody yeah <laughs> yeah know that we're all in this together each supporting each other. It's really important. Mm. And feel that sweetness and letting that, receiving that connection in your heart center, body. This morning, just starting by letting the attention settle within your body. I think of it as a, a butterfly landing on a flower for a while. And for a while, just it's it's like checking to see with your posture if there's some way that the way we're holding our body is too tight. Are we leaning a little bit forward that's tight or are we settled too far back, too loose? And adjusting. One of my great teachings observing the Dalai Lama is that he would rock back and forth from buttock to buttock, right buttock, left buttock, and till he just kind of felt himself land in the center. It's really cool just landing, landing inside your pelvis, feeling the bottom of your feet, the sensations there, hands, so it's almost like you have a inner stability by landing more deeply inside. Noticing that hearing is happening. And even if we think something feels silent, there's often a crackling or texture vibration to silence. In this practice, silence is considered. Not the absence of sound. because silence as a sound has texture and you can receive it, hearing it. Mm. 
And just this is a practice where you just check and see if the attention can receive the sounds, the silence or whatever sounds are happening directly through the ear door. You'll notice thoughts about the experience happen and that's fine, you notice the thoughts like a sensation, like a sound, body sensation, thought is like a thought sensation. And then you just notice the thinking and come back to the sound or sounds. And you notice the shift from like the visual images at times. visual image thought about to that wordless, gentle receiving. And if you can start to receive that, you see if you can sustain it the attention through the vibration or texture till it ends. And sometimes there's a kind of shift from a sense of receiving to just a quiet abiding with. And that's more what we mean by silence. There's no outside, no inside, no receiver, no receiving, just being with what is. There's a non-doing, a letting be with whatever appears. So you can see that quiet abiding with a deep acceptance of how things are. is a deepest rest, a deepest silence. We attempt to do that with, say, the movement of the breath right now. And we can start with the attention, very wide, open, field of awareness, maybe land in the hands for a while. It's in that sense of if you feel disconnected, just Notice if there can be some kindness with the sensations in your hands. Care. And you can shift the attention from just the attention in the hand to you can bring your hand to your belly if you feel disconnected from the breath. And you don't have to force the attention. You just let the movement come into the hands or hand. And if there's some kindness, care, there's often a deeper relaxation of just 
letting the breath be just how it is. That silence. You might notice as the a, a movement is rising, it might be a sound, a thought. You're at the end of the rising. It's fine, no problem, you just include it. Just drop back into maybe <clears throat> the beginning of falling. As often as the falling is just appearing because it's getting so refined and light and disappearing. Sometimes we need to just shift to the hands. For a while and then go back rising or falling. So we anchor a little more with something less refined. Today, just letting the attention find the skillful means of coming to stillness and calm by anchoring. That's skillful means sometimes. It's not like anchoring is better or more advanced or babyish. It's just like when we need that, that's skillful me. And other times the attention can just flow. with our moment to moment experience. It might be a memory thought or sadness or sound. Some body sensations, a thought breath, maybe we get lost in thinking. And sometimes you just drop back into that river flowing so fast of moment to moment aliveness. And sometimes when we get lost in thought, about an experience or something so painful, we get lost in it. We're trying to control it. Something so pleasant, a memory, we start trying to control it. It's time to anchor most of the time. Just 
So remembering to include disliking, liking, enjoying, aversion, fear. Sounds, body sensations. Boredom, sleepiness. Just letting it all just come and go just as it is, just like clouds drifting through the sky of mind.
Yeah, I think I missed the instruction. They had instructions. So today is a great opportunity to uh, slow down a little more if you can. And that means kind of slowing down in, in your own pace. But a lot of that will, will uh, mean that we're um, not as involved with the past and not as involved with the future. So for example, when you go to stand, that you really are just standing, no past, no future, because those are just um, imaginary. <laughs> uh, and the reason we slow down walking is so that we're not trying to get anywhere, but we're trying to be aware while we're walking. So the word practice is such an interesting word because we're practicing being aware while we're walking and, and mindfulness is, is technically an awareness infused with wisdom, understanding. So, so that one aspect of mindfulness is that we never know what's going to happen next. That's the truth, that's the truth. The wisdom that the truth is that um, we, we, we're sacrificing the need to know what's going to happen next. We're sacrificing the need to know what's happening next because we don't know. We actually don't know what's gonna happen next. And so the truth is that each moment is new. Each moment is new. Each no moment is new. So slowing down is a way to cut through that automatic pilot where we're getting somewhere, getting somewhere, getting somewhere. And there's a stress in getting somewhere, but we're not aware of it. it there's a stress in being caught in time but we're so caught in automatic pilot, we're not aware of it. And it, it almost feels more stressful to slow down, right? 
to like it almost feels more stressful to to be timeless but it it's that's what the buddha taught is we develop a taste for it we develop a taste for freedom we develop a taste for the truth so if you can this is a teaching like you check to see can i try to take just one step and not caught up in oh god a whole walking period oh no or oh boy a whole walking period i can go fast right like whatever it is you know i used to when i first did retreats i i um with the peer group pressure of being at a retreat center it would help me do the practice and then when i would shut the door to my room i'd be like oh boy i don't have to be mindful anymore and i'd like throw things around or just kind of have a party just like not being mindful um and so when you're home it's going to be a little more um interesting that way where you might you know slow down and kind of be present and then you get your food and you just kind of wolf it down there's places where we will do that it could be when you take a shower or just like there's all these places during the day where <clears throat> there's an opportunity to be there And it, uh, it really doesn't help to get caught in um, focusing on when we've been lost. It just, it just, it's a waste of energy. It's, it's just like when you kind of come to try to be there. That's all we can do. It's like when you, when you notice you're back, try to appreciate that you're back. When you notice you're back, try to appreciate that you're back. That's energizing. It's so energizing. And hating ourselves or our situation or whatever, you know, when we can't be here, it doesn't help. It's just like, it's all compassion. The more you practice, the more you'll have compassion for all human beings. How vulnerable we are. That's what we share deeply. And how hard it is to sustain wanting to be with reality. It takes great, great compassion and joy. So we have. Um, interviews today for the part-time yogis and um, if you are a part-time yogi and haven't looked at the schedule the link for that group is there it in fact you don't even have to um, do anything with your computer it's like the um, link is right um, after the link for this so there was a link for nine o'clock sit right and instructions there's a link for 11 a.m group for um, part-time yogis. It's also, uh, in terms of the schedule, there's a link for interviews. It's also on that. So there's two places the link for the this group is today. Hmm. Darina, is there any other announcement or anything? OK. And also, of course, there's a talk today at the regular time. Um, so enjoy the. Uh, silence the quiet the ease um, and of course whatever whatever is on your plate is what we get to eat <laughs> today <laughs> meaning each moment is a different meal <laughs> enjoy your practice
ধন্যবাদ